The way that I've integrated philanthropy into human solutions is I started a, a Brenda Boone Hope Center in the country of Kenya. And all of my staff is involved with this. We rescue girls basically who have been raped and um, we've rescued over 300 girls. Our employees, myself, and everyone else in the organization is always thinking about how can we help others. We're constantly thinking about ways to connect ourselves to the greater community. I'm very committed to my community and my employees are very committed to theirs. So by leading by example, I'm able to instill those same values which already exist within the employees anyway. At Managed Care Advisors, we feel very blessed as an organization. And after Hurricane Sandy, we came into action supporting Helping Hands, which is a nonprofit organization that helps rebuild, such as in New Jersey. We recently adopted Autism Speaks as our company charity. It's a very worthwhile organization. We, in, we really enjoy raising funds for Autism Speaks. Philanthropy is one of the most important things to myself personally, as well as our company. We truly believe in supporting our veterans and people who have given up their lives or a large portion of their life to defend our country. I think someone would be surprised to learn that I love being around the house. I love cooking, entertaining, and taking care of my home. Someone would be surprised to learn that I'm a huge art collector and I own over 30 antique cars because I consider those art. I never went to university. I took a summer job when I was 18 in 1984 with a computer company and they sold the first Apple Macintosh and I fell in love with technology right there and then and just never looked back. People might be surprised to learn that I'm competitive and that I enjoy sports. I think people would be surprised to know that I was a semi-professional singer and I once sang for the Vatican. The best advice I've ever received that is really that this whole leadership thing is not about me. It really is about everyone else in the organization. And the more I can remove myself and think about the other person, then I will never be steered wrong. The best piece of advice that I ever received, and it would have to be, you know, when you're running a business, you just don't do it from an MBA standpoint. You do it from a intrinsic. You do it from an emotional, intellectual point of view more than anything. When I first started the company 15 years ago, I was told, don't take your eye off the goal. Don't look back, just keep moving forward. So I think that was the best advice I got early on. The best piece of advice that I've received is to be authentic as a person and as a leader. You have to understand the audience that you're communicating with. And you have to tailor your message in a way that your audience can understand and appreciate what you're trying to say. The best piece of advice I've ever received is believe you can and you will.